Well, I, th I think one of the um, temptations of American evangelical Christianity, born out of something fundamentally good, namely our desire to see the church revived, our desire to see the church involved in evangelism and missions, uh, has gotten persuaded in uh, our time particularly that the way to advance evangelism is to pursue minimalist Christianity. You know, what, what is the absolute least we need to know and believe and, and require of people to make them Christians? And um, I, I understand the motive behind that. In some ways you can say the motive is praiseworthy, but it's a fundamental betrayal of the Great Commission. The Great Commission was not figure out the minimum number of things you can say about me and get people to believe those. Uh, the Great Commission was command them to obey all things I have commanded you. There's a maximalism to, to the Great Commission. And I think uh, uh, part of the church's abandonment of the Sabbath uh, was to make life easier for evangelism. Um, and then when you start to make things easier, suddenly everybody wants things easier. Uh, now that I'm by far the old man here, um, one of the most dismaying things that's happened in recent decades is the abandonment of the second service on the Sabbath day by churches far and wide. Can it really be good for Christians to go to church half the time? Can it really be good to hear the, half the number of sermons that you used to hear? Um, now, I have heard sermons where I thought to myself, I wish I could hear half of that. But, <laughs> but in principle, to think that we are better off with less time in fellowship with the people of God, less time in prayer, less time in study, less time in listening to the Word of God, just is so self-evidently wrong that it makes me mad.